Ho-hum 413 batting average for Jada Coleman. Top 10 USA Collegiate Player of the Year. Candidate last year as Coleman turns on this 1-1 out to center, but not hard hit enough as the freshman Logan Holomon disposed in three tight matches last year in Norman. The Red Raider team a lot more improved as Sanders takes inside and she'll work the four pitch walk here with one out in the first. Parker goes the other way. It's scooped up by the freshman. 5-4 in the throw to first is Aaron on the fielder's choice. And what a debut to her big 12 opener for McKenna Mitchell, who snags what had to have been about a 95 snapped and over 70 games to start the month of March and an extra inning loss to Louisiana as Parker is going to take second on a throw that reaches center field. So Oklahoma's freshman at DP, don't let that mistake you. She shows off some speed with her sixth stolen bag this year in her few months in Lubbock. As Guido works the walk. So without the pleasure of a base hit, Oklahoma has two on with two outs here in the top of the first inning. This is where the Sooners are dangerous. Yeah, and two, right looking for a clean top of the first. And Jennings laces one into the gap in right center. First hit for Oklahoma is an extra base hit. Jennings will cruise into second. Throw comes home, and the runner is out. Brito is gunned. And so Oklahoma gets a run here in the top of the first, but that's all as Texas Tech's defense stands tall. one nothing Sooners. Bottom of the first, and we come back. Bin pitcher. Can certainly get up there in the high 60s as well. As Barnhart rips one fair down the first baseline, where Torres, transfer from Arizona State, in her second season at one of the best hitters in the conference, was unavailable today, hoping to get her back the rest of the weekend. Via the other way, what a grab by Brito! Standing on the Jennings double. And Texas Tech make their mark here against Maxwell. And off pitch misses low, and Ricky works the walk. Massive weekend in Provo. Scoring 33 runs as Oric rips one up the middle. Waiting there is Jennings, and she'll go the short way to Torres. A clean first inning for Maxwell as she works around the two out walk. Addition as an X factor as a changeup is driven to deep right field. Back is Elder, warning track low, and there it is. Hansen's 56th home run puts her in 10th all time. And the Sooners jump ahead 2 0. Tying run on base as well. Pickering right at Via. And a hard hit out number one here in the second. This is ripped right into the glove of McKenna Mitchell. And the freshman has now made two dazzling plays over at the hot corner. That smile says it all. In the other way, off the glove of Mitchell, she has time and delivers. And McKenna Mitchell with a golden glove at third sends us to the bottom of the second. Oklahoma. With the freshman combo of Jennings and Mitchell to follow, Elder's able to poke one to right. So no now the one two here with nobody out. Driven deep, left center field. Jennings gets a lot of it, and the one hops the wall. Double, number 54. No, she'll be held to a single. Great defense by Oklahoma as Elder. Earn one by her for strikeout number one. And when you talk to Gasso, she had only good things to say about the development of Maxwell here in the last game since 1998 when they beat Arizona. Have three chances at it this weekend as Kreitz goes down and an absolute filthy drop ball. 0 2. Dribbled fair. Tough play for Maxwell. So flip in time. A tremendous play from the south ball. So five pitch walk starts the third inning for Oklahoma. 
know what they say about leadoff walks. Leadoff pitch is low, and a pair of walks start the third inning. That was the only thing that Wright struggled with at BYU on Friday, five shutout innings in the run rule win. Sheer with the one two delivery. And she'll get it. Painting the inside perimeter. Huge out number one for Texas Tech. We get greeted with Alyssa Brito, who is thrown out at home to end the first inning after walking. Check swing one over to second. Jennings has to hurry and flips with the glove. Both defenses making it look easy here on this Friday evening. 06 here this year. Another 2 2. This has Barrel written all over it, and it's gone. The eighth home run of the season for T.R.A. Jennings explodes the lead to five. Pitch walk follows as Ludlam works her way on here with two outs. This is ripped out to right. And the fourth hit for Oklahoma extends the third inning. But look at this. Caught in a pickle. The freshman runs herself out of the inning. And so. Rolls over on one to Sanders. She'll deliver it herself for out number one. That Hansen had presumably done. 2-2, two -two, lifted into center field. Coleman is there, and there's two outs. Class ranked second in the nation. Putting Texas Tech on the map with an RPI of 27. As Wyckoff pops one to Brito, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Maxwell. Series. Moved over to Lubbock as Torres runs into one to center. That's gone. Second home run of the year for Alina Torres, and she welcomes Reigns with a bash. Clock first pitch. Followed by a nooner on Sunday. Fly ball left field. And he is there for out number one. Neither really mentioned much of a curveball, screwball arsenal. A little old fashioned as Coleman delivers with a base hit up the middle here with one out. Four-pitch walk, puts two on. Squibber to Jennings. Quick throw to short, and a heads-up play by the freshman to get the lead runner on the fielder's choice for out number two. From the coaching staff, the new pitching coach in Bryce to Colvey. Spent two years as the grad assistant at Florida State. As a lofty fly ball sends Elder to the warning track, and she'll make the grab. As Reigns comes in and strands a pair, but Oklahoma strikes again. On a... Work went two for three with an RBI against New Mexico on Tuesday, but swings through a pitch from Maxwell. And Kelly bullpen as well as the seven starts. But misses outside here. And so the speed and elder will reach base for the seven. So again, back to the rise ball. And Maxwell did to 16 consecutive innings. And she will. Striking out the side and we're and after Maddie Wright walked five, Olivia Reigns walks her second sooner today. Here's a double play ball out to short. Oric will fire to second, a chance. But Ludlam runs well for a catcher. So a fielder's choice replaces 
Do up on deck, or potentially a re-entry from Torres as Lilio runs into one to left. Villa is there, and will make the grab for out number two here in the fifth inning. So the wind not necessarily blowing out as much. On a check swing, pop up, challenges the third baseman, and the freshman Mitchell is there. And Reigns, with a clean fifth inning, gives Texas Tech the opportunity to play more than five. And we head to the bottom half with the Red Raiders. One of them against Kreitz. As the 2-2 delivery misses inside. No, it rings her up. A late call by the home plate umpire there. And Christina Drum. So Deck. This is a bunt. Well done as Ludlum fires in time. And that is a terrific play by the Furman Tramp. Texas Tech looking for their third hit. But it won't come here. Barnhart chases and climbs the ladder as we head to the sixth inning. And Kelly Maxwell is dealing here in Lubbock. Be right back here on the Big 12 now on ESPN. Top of the sixth inning and the Boons coming in from the Sooner faithful as she'll chase a rise ball. And a quick four to three put out starts this sixth inning for Olivia Reigns. Maxwell and May to finish their career with a bang. As Via finds the warning track and makes the grab shy of the wall for out number two. But for the fourth time today, Sydney Sanders will walk, and there is one clear message that is being. And if Reigns can get through this inning, it would be. A tremendous outing thus far, and she will. A line drive to Elder sends us to the bottom of the sixth. Three Sydney innings of work with one run allowed by Olivia Reigns. That senior and Carly Keening from Liberty. And Peyton Monticelli from Wisconsin as Via works the walk, and that is a tremendous at bat. Now this comes in and hits her in the back of the hamstring. That's not a spot you get hit by pitches often. Runners at first and second, nobody out. And it is low and outside, and the bases are loaded for the Red Raiders. What would a big swing do to the crowd here? Again, it almost hits her, and it's called strike three. Late moving action. Clarity as well. Big 2-2 delivery, and it's a strikeout. And Maxwell's ninth and biggest. In the bottom of the sixth. Maxwell, the magician, works her way out of a bases loaded, no out jam by striking out the side. Sent back up the middle. Moving to her left, Oric. Not in time, Brito will leg out the infield single to start the seven. Is announced, Maya Bland, the freshman. Jennings, again to center, and again a no-doubter. Well, she's got Lauren Chamberlain's record in sight in the two-spot all-time, and T.R.A. Jennings continues her dominance here in Lubbock. Who have scored, and that was back in the third inning on the home run by Jennings with two strikes and two outs. Big take by Ludlum, and she'll work her second walk. I'm gonna get my hands on one of those cards. Chastity reigns on Sunday as Lilio to center, right into the waiting grasp of Holloman. There's one out. Tim in this contest. Red Raiders threatened twice. Both times, Kelly Maxwell struck out the side. As Torres works the walk, and there are two on here with one. Chopper off the glove and into center field, and Boone will pick up a hit. And an RBI to boot as Oklahoma leads 9-0. The Sooners. Coleman rips this to right, and another base hit for Jada Coleman. Throw home, not in time, and Torres scores to give the Sooners 10. Payoff pitch, grounded fair. Mitchell will go to first, and it is scooped up brilliantly by Barnhart. 
An RBI ground out by Sanders, and the lead is 11-0. As Olivia Reigns hopes to shut down. But we'll have to wait a bit. Core picks up her second collegiate hit. The throw comes home and gets by Kreitz. But patient is Coleman with a lead of 11, and so she'll stay at third as Core moves up. Can't imagine Maxwell will go back out there. Bland to center. This is well hit. And it caroms off the wall. Two Sooners will score on Maya Bland's second double of the year and her first hit in conference play. Here's the four pitch walk, the second earned by Jennings. He cuts off. A And this is inside, so Ludlam works the walk. Third walk worked by Ludlam. Everybody moving on the 3-2, and it misses high, so Lilia works the RBI walk. Third consecutive. 0-2 pitch, lifted to right. Elder makes a catch. And the seventh seven. inning comes to a Eight close. Eight runs, runs scored by Oklahoma. And they'll strand the bases loaded. We head to the bottom of the seventh. But a cold strike three on the inner half freezes Armijo, and there's one out in the seventh. Pulls one. Over to Lilio at second, and it's scooped up nicely by Sanders for the second out. Ooh, Barnhart. It's hit up in the mask, and that's why you wear them. So a two out base runner here for. And down goes Hamlet. So for the 35th straight time, Oklahoma beats Texas Tech. Starts this weekend series with a 14 to nothing win. Just a couple touchdowns as we head into Saturday.